this example, we're using some modulation sources from the Modular Junction CV instrument, which we're routing out through a DC coupled audio interface, in our case here a MOTU, and we're transmitting the modulation source out of output 5, which we've patched into a synthesizer.com 5U system. The modulation source has been generated by an eight stage envelope inside the modular junction, and this is actually patched into the pulse width of the baseline. Obviously we have all of the modulation sources available to us in the CV instrument that are available in the MIDI effects and the audio effects. So we are free to use these sources in our modular systems, freeing up our precious oscillators and envelope generators for other uses in our patches. You probably noticed my CPU is going a bit crazy in live. That's because I'm running screen capture with three real-time audio input channels. So obviously most modular hardware contains level controls, depth controls for the CV inputs. Awesome. In this example, we're using another instance of the modular junction CV instrument and we're sending out a function modulation source of a different output on our DC coupled audio interface. We're obviously also monitoring the real-time input coming in to an audio track and we're using a traditional MIDI to CV converter interface to fire over the MIDI. So this is actually routed over to the ARP2600 and we're doing some filter modulation via the function. In this final example, we've got another instance of the Modular Junction CV instrument, sending some more modulation sources out of a different output on our DC coupled interface. This is going off to an analog systems Eurorack modular, and we can see here we're using a high frequency oscillator, which is really just like a, an LFO super quick. So it actually goes up into the audio rate, but please be aware it's not band limited, so probably best not to use for audio sources. We can provide some interesting modulation running very quickly. We can also see again, we're monitoring the input real time on an audio track and sending the MIDI over for our traditional MIDI CV interface. So this is actually going to go into the filter cutoff frequency. And what we've got on this patch is a little bit more interesting. We've got a super resonant bandpass filter. It's like quite high. And if we bring in a little bit of our modulation, We can get some interesting filter FM cutoff frequency modulation. So the HFOs can be used as a really interesting super fast modulation source or things like filter FM.